dog to the game, courtesy of Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District, clevelandmonsters.com for any and all details on the games. You get a four-pack of tickets here. Load the pups into the car and take in a Monsters game. Monsters, Bears on the second. Uh, four tickets for you. Call or 10, 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Are you trying to make us all uncomfortable? Alan Cox. Gross, it's weird, it's not right, it's not cool. And there's plenty more where that came from. Back to the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. Speaking of hockey, it is not an easy time for me to be a Blackhawks fan right now. They're having a terrible season. The only team worse right now than the Blackhawks are the Columbus Blue Jackets. But I was reading about how the Blackhawks are doing a pride night this coming Sunday, and they're not going to wear pride jerseys because they're worried about the safety of their Russian players because it's very, very frowned upon. You know, every time a hockey team, hockey is very, very obviously populated uh, with Russian guys, and every time one of these teams does a pride night or something and these guys go, I'm not going to wear that jersey, they're immediately branded as homophobes or whatever. But if you're a Russian guy, look, you can't have all your star players falling out of windows because they had a, uh, a pride jersey on. And Putin signed this big old gay propaganda bill into law or whatever. And uh, Russia is a country that is aggressively white and aggressively against homosexuals. Or anything that's a non-traditional, I guess, in their view, sexual relation. So the Blackhawks probably aren't the only team doing this. There are probably other teams where they're like, yeah, we got a lot of Russian guys on this team, and we can't be worried about them getting disappeared in the middle of the night because they had a pride jersey on. But you can't, you know, they don't want to risk any. They don't want a photo of them in the jersey getting back to Moscow. Anything that might put them... Or their families, quite frankly, in conflict with the Russian government. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So Blackhawks are set to play the Canucks on Sunday, Pride Night, and they're like, um, we're not going to wear them because of the Russians on our team. <clears throat> and also the good. team's doing so poorly that it no doesn't one, really matter. Yeah. Like, well, no one has to pride in anything. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> the Hawks still draw. I will say that, yeah. you know, I mean, when I was growing up, I, I, I would tell people it, it made me laugh because I was like, you know, the Blackhawks were um, those were games where the where the fans would fight each other. Forget the fights on the ice. The fans would be fighting each other. That's my most enduring memory of going to Blackhawks games as a as a young boy. At the old Chicago Stadium was the people fighting each other. And I think that that was probably before I realized what alcohol does to people. You know, uh, my parents uh, weren't big drinkers. So if we went to a game, it wasn't like my dad had a giant beer or anything like that. Maybe he did and I just didn't pay attention. But as I got older, I would go, oh, that's why. Because as a kid, I'm like, why would the fans of the same team be having a fight with each other? And it made for kind of a pithy anecdote or whatever. But I don't think I understood that that's what alcohol does to people. Right. Even people who would normally get along, you pump enough uh, cheap beer in them. Uh, by the end of, uh, you know, and hockey is an aggressive sport. That's kind of in the air. I have a question. I hope I have an answer. Um, so I'm not well versed in beer enough to know what a cheap beer tastes like and like how it affects your body. Like what what is a good beer where, you know, you drink it and you can feel totally fine, but a cheap beer, you might have the same amount and be bouncing off. Well, the by ball. cheap, I just mean something that tastes almost like water. Okay. Bud Light Miller like It's so it. watered down that, you know, it's not expensive. It's not it'll it'll get you where you want to go, but you're not spending a lot of money. It's not like, you know, Okay, I thought it was just like how different alcohol, like 
different types of vodka or different types of tequila. Might well, the alcohol different. content and the carbohydrate content are what are going to affect your health overall, right? So better quality beer, if it has less alcohol, it has fewer carbs in it, then uh, I guess you could make the the case that that might be better for you. But I don't – people are looking for other – I don't think that people are looking for, like, what's a healthy beer? You know, you see the commercials – like, oh, yeah, the they, just, yeah, extra yeah. they just got off the treadmill and they're Zero having a beer. Carbs. Right. And yeah. I, listen, I'm sure there's something to that, but uh, and that's one way to market it. Yeah, I feel so old because I had to thuck it out this morning because I ran out of creamer for my coffee and I was like, well, what do I have? And do you I, have any oat milk? I, I, <laughs> I put honey in it. Oh, <laughs> God. What a great story. Honey in your coffee. Mm hmm. Was it good? Um,. It was enough to. It was just enough sugar to just like get me by. Cause like drinking black coffee, it, it has me bouncing off the wall. Like it's not a good energy surge. It's like almost. It's too much. You need to cut it with something. Yeah, I have to have. But so, it's the same something. amount of coffee. Right. Uh, but it's again, it's watered down. Like when you have the creamer, it hits it's, it a little it, bit different. May, maybe it splits it up, or I don't know exactly how it works. Cause I stir the cream it. Cream slows them down. <laughs> so yeah. You must use a ton of creamer. <laughs> I, I, I do it till it's yellow. 12 ounces yeah. of cream. <laughs> till it's yellow. Yellow. It's yellow. <laughs> you using Peeps creamer? I'm just saying, like, it has He's a nice- drinking 12 ounces of iced milk and then I, a shot of coffee. Yeah. Like, I've had it dark brown and then I have it, like, light brown. Like, when, this, when the milk coffee- Milk and sugar. When the coffee Yo, looks my complexion- That's when you like it. That's how I like it. Uh, yeah, someone from TAM was complaining yesterday because they got a coffee from Starbucks- and they didn't put the oat milk in there, mm-hmm. and then they just dumped it down the drain. Dumped the like, whole coffee whole out. Whole coffee. Because there like, was nope. no oat milk. And I just think that's very funny because this is a person that if uh, their audience knew that they were throwing a screaming about over, oat milk, uh, about yeah. oat milk, they'd be like, what the hell? Just drink your coffee back, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cheap, cheap beer is like... Um, Every region has like a cheap beer. You know, in Illinois, it was like Old Milwaukee or Old Style. All these Wisconsin mm-hmm. beers, Old I Style. I mean, Bush. Yeah, Hams. Hams. Yeah. yeah. What's the other Red Stripe? I love Red Stripe, Black but that's label. like Jamaican beer, though. Black like, Label's like fifty cents a can. When you were just I in Austin, Lone Star is a, is a great beer oh, down I like, in Texas. I like Lone Star. I yeah. like. Uh, Red Stripe's not like a cheap beer, though. I meant no, Black Label. Yeah. I didn't mean oh, Red Black Stripe. Label, yeah. I like Red Stripe a lot. I though. do too. Uh, upstate New York, you can drink drink uh, Jenny Cream Ale. You ever had a oh, Jenny yeah. Cream Ale? Jenny, yeah. uh, so good. Uh, but those are heavy. Gross, dude. I can't do those. Iron like, City, well, I live in Pittsburgh. You go to a Stiller game, it's Iron City all the way around. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I got, like hey, Iron City. you got a six pack iron. I got my soft cooler, some chip ham sandwiches in it. And then afterwards, when it was all get spilled out in the parking lot, because I had to hit somebody over the head with my cooler just to get them off me. Last year when I headlined a show in Pittsburgh, they asked me for a writer. And I just, the only thing that I wanted was a case of Iron City. Iron City beer. And I got it and brought it home and oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're out in Denver, you can drink Coors Banquet. You ever had Coors Banquet? Yeah, they have that here now. Yeah. Do they? With that. What's yeah, that? They I have it here. ex who was obsessed with that. He was so the worst. Okay, so before we went to break, Pound Cake said, "What did you say you got? I got tricked, confi- by, tricked by a like a, a hypnotist. hypnotist. Well, because he was doing the entire show. He did like forty five minutes of a show, and everyone was on stage acting a fool, and I, I was convinced by it. And so he was like, "If you guys want to see, he was like, if you like your, if you like what you saw on the stage tonight, I need you guys to pull out your phones. I'm gonna pull a trick on you." <laughs> And he was like, he was like, it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> and then he was like, everyone send your numbers to this link, or send your numbers to this number. Everyone text this number, and you'll receive a surprise. Mm-hmm. So we all texted it. <laughs> and then he was like, now gotta- you're on his mailing list. Yeah. It was so what do you mean you got tricked? Yeah, got what did tri- you think it was going to be? He, I thought he was going to do a trick on our phones. Like, I was like, I don't know. I, it, like, I don't know what I expected. Oh, that's great. He, 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 he was like, now nah. he's like, send, send your number to this number. He was like, and you're going to get a special surprise. <laughs> he was like, just wait for it. Just you're going to get nonstop it. spam from me. <laughs> surprise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, he was like, I got a project coming out soon. You all get updates. I'm like, oh, God. To I don't this want day, updates. He's still getting updates from that guy. Yeah, you text back, stop. <laughs> Call it a day.
but I was like, damn it. So that's what that's why college students should be making like life decisions in college because I was so gullible. I gave my number to a stage performer, thinking that he was gonna perform a trick for me. He tricked you into giving him his yeah, sure info. Did. Mary is performing at the University of Northern Iowa, and she'll be following a hypnotist. Now, and this is a five-hour-long variety show like it's the goddamn Osmonds uh-uh. in the 70s. I found their Facebook page and this is why I need to ask more questions because it is not a five hour long variety show. So what the Facebook page is called Cab After Dark Campus Activities Board. Mm-hmm. This event will be huge with tons of activities and performances to create a fun filled night from 7 p.m. to midnight. Come and go as you please or stay the whole night to experience it all. So here's the schedule. A couple of things are going on all night. What this sounds like, because there's things happening simultaneously, is that each of these things is happening in a different room. Oh so boy. activities so you that could, are... you could potentially be losing people to the hypnotist. Yes. Activities that are going on all night. Stuff a dinosaur, which I'm assuming what is like a Build-A-Bear. Yeah, probably. For college kids? Uh, and then esports, boards, game, board games, and crafts. Those are all all-night activities. And then from 7 to 8 is the student improv show. From 7 to 9, you can make s'mores outside. Jesus. Seven, wait a minute. College? Listen. College. 7.30 to 8.30 is face painting. Is this a Christian <laughs> school or something? I don't this think so. Really, I would mess really... up some s'mores, though. 7.30 to 9.15, they're showing Ferris Bueller's Day Off. All right. 8.30 to 9.30 is when the hypnotist is on. And then... Or is he? Right. And then 9.30 to 11.30, they're showing the movie Cars. <laughs> I'm on 10 that's to 11. That's crazy. We're college. Gonna, that's when yeah. we get into the Pixar, <clears throat> you know. 10 to 11, I'm on. I'm listed as Mary Santorina, S-A-N-T-O-R-E-N-A. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, but also from 10 to 11. Mary Santorina. Right. I ain't got no crystal ball. <laughs> I'm in the other room with a magician. Here's the three things He's happening. Lying to y'all. <laughs> Three things simultaneously happening from 10 to 11. My performance, spa night, and yoga are all happening from 10 to 11 in different areas, I'm assuming. And then Just Dance is on from 10 to 12. Bingo from 11 to 12. And and you're on at 10? I'm on it from 10 to 11. Dodgeball from 11 to 12. It's going to be the longest hour of your life. But what it sounds like. I know like, you've had some long hours on campus. What it sounds is like be. is there's multiple rooms where all these things are happening, which means people very well walk into They're my come room. come in and out and, and see walk a comedy. Right out. Yep. See comedy and be like, I'd rather go watch the movie Cars and wow. go next door. So food for the night. Chad's Pizza will be there from 7 to 8. You can have oh, popcorn. Chad's the best. Popcorn from 8 to 9. Uncrustables from yeah, 9 to 10. Northern Iowa style pizza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uncrustables? They're serving Uncrustables from 9 to 10 p.m. Oh, like, like, like that. Um, like the peanut butter and jelly yeah. Uncrustables. Be Maybe that's where that, I'm sure it's April Fool's, but like Domino's had the corn cob crust pizza. Yeah. Did you see that going yeah. around? Maybe uh, that's an Iowa uh, delicacy. Fruit and veggie trays from 10 to 11, which I also might lose customers to the fruit and veggie trays. And 11 to 12 is cookies. Woody, what do you know about the University of Northern Iowa? You're a native. Uh, I don't know a lot about it. Uh, my girl Jen uh, got her, her, her bachelor's from that school, and uh, but it's, I know it's in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Way yeah, but what, what the what the what the hell? This is a college. What the hell's with all the junior high activities? I, I have no clue about junior high activities, and I haven't <laughs> for the last 40, 40 years. Probably. All right, that's a good dodge. But but you were talking about. Cheap beer. That's what made me want to call in. And you yep. were mentioning all these things. When I, when I was in, when we were in high school, and you know, a little out of high school, we, you talked about Old Milwaukee beer. There was a beer called Old Milwaukee's Best, and this swill was like six dollars for a case of it. Back well, it was it was then. it was Milwaukee's Best. Oh there, yeah, yeah, Milwaukee's. There was, best. There was that's Old that's Milwaukee, was. and then there was Milwaukee's Best. Which was like the bottom of the barrel, right? Why well, I, I thought Milwaukee's best was better than Old Milwaukee. I mean, there was a oh. there's a river in northern Illinois called Kishwaukee River, and everybody called it Old Kishwaukee because it tasted so bad. But um, I, I don't yeah, know, man. That, uh, Milwaukee's best. I, I remember it was so cheap, and it's you know it was affordable for you know kids to buy. And man, it just was just 
just garbage. Iowa in general has some of the cheapest beer in the entire country. They do not charge a lot for beer in Iowa. It's it's so funny to that because right when I was waiting on oh, waiting uh, as I talked with Cody, uh, she said, "Is it still true that um, our Carroll County drinks the most amount of beer per capita of people in the entire country?" I'm like, probably. I don't yeah, know. Maybe so. But yeah, Northern Iowa, uh, University of Northern Iowa is in, in, in Cedar uh, Cedar Rapids, Cedar or, Falls, Cedar Falls, yeah. Iowa. Yeah, north of Iowa City, way yeah. out east. But, yeah, it should be a good time, right? Well, there's nothing it wrong with sure doesn't party. sound no, like it. Boy, not. it does not <laughs> sound like it. All right, thank you, Woody. It does not sound like a good time well, at all. So I'll come back Tuesday with some stories, at least. You hope. If I decide to come back, I might. Unless he erases your memory. He he does a brain wipe on you. He's on before me. Yep. In a different room. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how good he is. Yeah, Maybe. He, he casts a spell. But he could come in while you're on. He's on before you. He could come into your room and do some hoodoo voodoo on you. It's a little frustrating that his time slot, he's the only thing to do. Well, this is why you need to ask more questions. I can't. Listen, if Mary Santora doesn't ask questions, Mary maybe Mary, Mary Santorina, Santorina can ask more questions <laughs> for future gigs.